this is Dr. Lorna and welcome to Knowledge is Power. Today, let's talk about gout. It's a broad topic, but I'm going to concentrate on the sign and symptoms. How will you know that it is a gout? And what are the foods that will aggravate your condition? Now, let us start by knowing the sign and symptoms of gout. First and foremost, what is a gout? A gout is a common form of inflammatory arthritis that is very painful. It usually affects one joint at a time, and most often, it is the big toe joint. Along with the big toe joints, joints that are commonly affected are the lesser toe joints, the ankle, and the knee joints. The elbow, the wrist, and the fingers are also affected. The pain is likely to be most severe within the first 4 to 12 hours after it begins. Another symptom is lingering discomfort. After the most severe pain subsides, some joint discomfort may last from a few days to a few weeks. Later attacks are likely to last longer and affect more joints. Now let's proceed to the signs of gout. There is an inflammation and redness. The affected joint or joints become swollen, tender, warm, and red. And there is a limitation of motion. No? As gout progresses, you may not be able to move your joints normally. For better understanding, I will show you the four stages of gout progression. Stage 1 is high uric acid level. Uric acid is building up in the blood and is starting to form crystals around the joints. Stage 2 is the acute gout itself, wherein the symptoms start to occur, causing a painful gout attack. And we have stage 3, it is the intercritical gout. It is the period of remission between gout attacks. And we also have stage 4. This is when the condition is already chronic. So gout pain is frequent in tophi form in the joints. Now, what are the foods that are not appropriate for you, especially when you are already manifesting the signs and symptoms? Before we go to the foods, it would be best for us to know what are these gout crystals. These are made up of crystallized uric acid, a chemical that is naturally found in our bloodstream. Your body makes it when you process foods that contain purines. Remember the word purines. Purines are the building block that your body needs to make DNA and RNA. They are found in foods you eat, mainly meat and meat products. Purines are broken down into uric acid. Normally, your body gets rid of extra uric acid through your kidneys or digestive system. But when there is too much uric acid in your bloodstream, it can build up and form tiny crystals in the spaces between your joints. So crystal buildup can lead to inflammation and a painful condition called gout. Gout crystals are also known as monosodium urate crystals and this is how it looks like under the microscope. Now, here are the foods that are high in purine. It means to say you must have to avoid it. Number one, alcoholic beverages, some fish, seafoods, and shellfishes, including anchovies, sardines, herring, mussels, codfish, scallops, trout, and haddocks. Some meats also, such as bacon, turkey, veal, venison, and organ meats like liver. There are also vegetables that are high in purines. We have cauliflower, spinach, and mushrooms. 
fruits such as apples, peaches, pears, plums, grapes, prunes, and dates are also included. But then, it's okay to eat these fruits if you have gout as long as you do it in moderation. Limit yourselves to one or two cups per day, or more importantly, avoid soda or soft drinks and juices that are sweetened with high fructose corn syrup. For the management and treatment, guys, I would rather advise you to see your doctor in order to rule out some other conditions such as cellulitis and many more. Don't just self-medicate. I hope that you learned something from this short video because knowledge is power.